At first glance, these seem like perfectly ordinary designer lamps and a completely ordinary designer chair. But they're made of material that's not so ordinary. It's seaweed that washed up on the coast near the Danish capital Copenhagen. For most people, it's wet, slippery, and disgusting. But designers Jonas Edvard and Nikolai Steinfat Thomsen turn this sustainable substance into designer furniture. It's a material that is available all around the globe and that everybody can use. And uh, it's uh, free to collect. And Danish people are very focused on uh, simple and good design. And for me, it's very important to work with uh, raw materials to show that it can be used for a lot of things and to show that resources actually exist and that we can use all resources around us for something interesting. The designers process the seaweed in their workshop. They arrange it by natural color and then hang it like wet laundry to dry in the fresh air. The shriveled algae is ground into a powder. The designers develop this method of working themselves. As a designer here, we are in a way trying to um, go into a new area. We are in a way trying to be um, working as an alchemist. So in the process of making this material, we were trying to make the receipt better and still always thinking about, OK, what can we do about it? What kind of shape should it be or which design are we going to make? The mass is the result of the right mixture of seaweed glue, water, and strips of paper. It'll be used for lampshades. The whole thing will be fired in the oven, just like pottery. The palette ranges from dark brown to light green. It's beautiful to the eye, but does it smell like seaweed too? I remember also uh, walking along the beach when it starts to rotten, it smells bad. But um, we're not using rotten seaweed, we're using fresh uh, seaweed. And uh, the furniture is actually not smelly at all. And uh, because of the high amount of salt in the seaweed, it's actually naturally preserving the, sea, uh, the material from degrading. Other designers are also moving towards sustainable materials. Sweden's Maria Westerberg has designed a chair made from old t-shirts. Norwegian Amy Hunting turns old blocks of wood into shelves. And the German Swede Jan Lampai has created a lamp out of old jam jars. Nikolai Steinfat Thomsen has even won a prize for his eco-friendly design, the Swedish Green Chair Furniture Award for his hardened leather chair. This is an alternative uh, way of uh, creating shape or design that you normally are seeing in materials like plastic. And uh, in this uh, chair, it's, everything is a natural process and you're not adding any toxic material. The seaweed chair is only a prototype, but it can support around 80 kilos. Right now, we are very much focused on developing the material, like figuring out what is this actually being, can be used for. And I'm not, I'm not sure that if this is gonna, only going to be used for chairs, I'm expecting this to be a multi um, material that can be used for a lot of things. Architectural uh, and structural elements. Seaweed is known as a valuable fertilizer. Now it's making a splash in the designer world.